really. We have been going through this. Um, and it's just a way of people managing their feelings and things like that. So they just brush it aside. Or they think there is somebody else in control, more in control than God. And so they that's where they end up worshiping idols and um, spiritual beings that are not godly. So we need to pray on those people that are blind so that God can remove their veil and they can see for themselves. Because God is giving them a chance right now. And this is the time that we all need to be praying for each other. Even And even God said that we need to pray for enemies. And he even said it, I don't know how many times he said it in the Bible. There's a, there's a verse in the Bible that he says 77 times or something like that. Meaning there is no stop on how much we all need to pray for each other, especially our enemies. So we need to do that. And I don't know, I'm not trying to make this a religious uh, live stream at all. I'm just saying, you know, there's a lot of things going on and we need to be aware of where we're at, you know? And I believe I have, you know, I have read the Bible a couple years ago and I'm still like going back and forth to it and as I read the Bible it's important that we ask that we all ask for um, the Holy Spirit to basically lead us on and, and walk us through what we need to be what needs to be said and, under, and understood and everybody understand it a different way but God always reveals it the way he wants you to know it and there's a lot of things happening and we need to be aware. Where are we at in our timeline? And I believe, I very much believe that we may be headed, or if not, we are in the fifth seal. There's no doubt in my mind that we are in the fifth seal. And that's in the book of Revelations. Um, based on all the things and events that are happening around us. Guys, we don't have much time. Thank you, baby. That's it. We don't have much time. So, get your bread so we can put this on there. Get burger. Get the bread out, baby. There. Put a plate next to it. Put your two patties. And then, then you're going to put my patties in there for me. While they cook. So, there's a lot. A lot going on. I smell onion. I wonder if my onions are bad. So guys, pray for me, pray for my eyes. Next week I have my um, eye doctor and I have my dentist. Then the week after that, my kids have their, their uh, teeth again, because it's every six months. So this is like the second round before Thanksgiving and Christmas and Oh, I can't believe the end of the year's already over, guys. This has been a wild roller coaster year. Cheese is up there. Hmm? Yeah, we don't have the buns, but you can get bread. Right here is bread. Look. If you put it side by side, because there is a patty, it's two patties. So if you put them side by side, you just cut it in half, and then you'll have like a patty on each. This is a big bread. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I just wanted to hop on here for a few minutes and chat with you guys. It's been a while.